Welcome! Alpacas sliders are a key feature to learn and get used to. Understanding the sliders and knowing how to use them makes your entire experience with alpaca more pleasant. So let me explain you really quickly what they do. You have two sliders, change and freedom. The way you can think about them is that change increases the details in your generations and with freedom you are defining how much you want the tool to respect your own input. For example, if you have a rough sketch like this, you can increase the change and give it just a bit of freedom and this way you're getting all the details possible and you're letting the tool solve some rough areas of your sketch. And maybe once you have a result you like, you can try giving it even more freedom just to see more uh, wild result. I like doing this because sometimes it gives me ideas I previously didn't consider, so I'm constantly playing with that. Another example is that maybe you want to refine your input. So we imagine you already have a finished design or an image, but you just want like a final polish. In that case, we lower the freedom so we respect fully your input and doesn't modify it. And we give it just a bit of change since it's already pretty polished. And yeah, that's a very basic way of explaining the sliders, but if they become too overwhelming at first, you can always use the predetermined presets, which they are really useful for quickly changing them. Or you can even use the input examples on the side, if you want to see different examples you can use the tool for. And that's pretty much it. I always recommend you just playing around with them, and pretty quickly you will get the hang of them and start using them more by intuition. So best of luck, and thank you for watching!